Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to talk to you about soldering. Soldering is a process that's used to join electronic components together. So before we do any soldering, I'm going to introduce you to the setups and some of the tools because these are going to be new. The most important tool we use here is our soldering iron. So this is what's actually used to join the pieces of metal together and to heat up the solder. So this is a very hot component to use heat. You can see it plugged in here and you might be able to see some smoke coming off it. So rule number one is you never touch it off any skin or any clothing. If it's not in your hand and been used to solder components together, it's placed in the soldering holder. In the soldering holder here, we've got a wet sponge that's used to clean the soldering iron. And we've got what's called flux here. Flux is a sort of paste that's used to clean the soldering iron uh, so that it keeps working efficiently. This is very handy to have because sometimes when these soldering irons have been used a lot, you need to give it a rub on the emery paper just to clean off any kind of grime that starts to form on it. What we've got here then is the snips for snipping wire and we've got a wire strippers for stripping back the insulation off the wire. Something that's very handy here as well is what we call a helping hand. So this is used to hold electronic components. And then last but last not least, this is our solder. So the solder is an alloy of lead and tin. Now in fact they don't use lead and tin anymore, the reason being lead is poisonous. And this is what's actually melted onto the tip of the soldering iron. If you can see there, we've got a little bead of solder. So we can clean it off, put it back in. And this is very soft solder. If you look here, you can just basically rip it off with your hand like that and that can be used. So now we've looked at the soldering setup and soldering safety, we're going to look at the actual circuit and component we're going to be used. So here we've got a wiring diagram that shows us what the circuit is actually going to look like. And here we've got a circuit diagram. So you will recognize some of the components here from first year. We've got a buzzer, LED, resistor, toggle switch and battery. Now how this game works, you might be familiar with it, is it's also known as the buzz game. So you have a handle here that you need to try to get around the wire here without touching the handle of uh, the game. So when the handle hits the game, that's when the LED in the buzzer is gonna, gonna go off, letting you know that you have lost. So the aim is to not have the LED or buzzer uh, go off. So we're, we'll start here with the battery. So the battery is gonna be connected in the circuit using a battery snaps. So red is positive and black is negative. If you look here then the battery then moves on to a toggle switch. So toggle switch is a simple on off switch so there's two positions on and off. If we follow on the circuit diagram then, it's going to be a resistor next. And we've got a 330 ohm resistor. If you remember from our resistor color codes, uh, we've got orange, orange, brown, which is a 330 ohm resistor. The next component is an LED or a light emitting diode. And an LED has two legs, a positive and a negative leg. So the positive leg is longer and that is known as the anode, and the negative leg is known as the cathode. An LED is a component that requires polarity, which means that the positive leg of the LED must be placed in the positive end of the circuit or else it won't work. The last component then is a buzzer. So again, the buzzer has the positive and negative leg, the red and the black, and that's our last component. And then we'll have two wires, one connecting to our handle and one connecting to our puzzle. And if you think about it here, when the handle touches the puzzle, we know a circuit is a closed loop where the current is free to rotate around. So if they're not touching, the circuit is not going to be complete. So we are going to be populating our circuit on copper strip board. This is very handy for building circuits. So this white side is where the components are going to be placed in. And this copper side is where we are going to be doing our soldering. So if we look here, you can see we've got rows here going all the way down. So all these holes along here are connected horizontally and then we've got a line separating them. So for this circuit we will only have maximum of two components going in to each of these rows. So we'll have say the positive of our battery here and the positive of our switch here. We then must jump down for the second negative end of our switch and so on and so forth down through the circuit until we get to the end which is going to be the negative of our battery so you must make sure that you are not getting your solder or crossing these tracks here if we cross the tracks we need to scrape them out or there is a good chance that your circuit will not work 
So I'm going to start populating the circuit here and when you see that you'll start to kind of get the, the hang of what it means by jumping the tracks. Just a quick demo here then on snipping and stripping the wires. So I'm going to need some extra wire for my switch. So you just come along with the snips. It snips off very easily. Now the hard part is stripping the wire. So you don't want to be coming in with too firm of a grip. You want to just nice and gently squeeze maybe wrap around didn't work there there we go so now we've stripped back the insulation of that wires that takes a bit of practice so I'll just show you again you might end up snipping off a few the first time but you'll get the hang of it So now we're going to look at actually soldering here. So clean the soldering iron. And we come along and just put a little bead of solder onto the tip of your soldering iron. And then you want to feed them in. You don't want to blob on a big blob. So nice and gently just cover the hole that you need to solder. Make sure you're not crossing the tracks. I'll show you again. Nice and gently feeding both in, just topping it up with a bit of solder. Keeping it nice and steady the whole way along. Nice and gentle, making sure not to cross the tracks. So we then come along with our snips and we snip off all the excess wires. So now we have our circuit complete. If we look at it, we've got our positive battery comes to our switch, comes all the way to our switch in the red wire, back down to the negative with the black, through our resistor, through our LED, through our buzzer. Then we've got a wire here that goes and connects to the game and then a long wire here that connects the handle. So when we connect, you can see we've got our LED flashing and you can just very faintly hear the buzzer. It's only a three volt buzzer and my battery is weak, so it's quite hard to hear. And if we look at the back then, we've got some nice clean uh, solder joints. At the end of this video, I'm just gonna put some pictures of both good and bad solder joints, so you, just so you get an idea of the bad ones.